If you find a colony of bats in your home, the most important thing to do is not to panic. Uh, there are risks associated with any wildlife. Bats are no exception, but let's, let's just take a moment and look at the situation and try to make a rational decision about what we need to do about it. In the case of bats, their primary desire is to simply find a warm place, 85 to 100 degrees, to roost during the day so that they can sleep and enjoy themselves. And they come out at night and they eat bugs. They eat lots of bugs. So when you do find a colony of bats in your home, the most important thing to do is a little bit of research if you're not familiar with them. During the research, you can find some very scary things, ranging from the notion that bats attack people, that they have rabies, that their guano can cause all sorts of infections. And really and truly, you're hearing about uh, very rare instances and in situations where people interact with wildlife, specifically bats, and there are some repercussions to that. Uh, to address one of the risks that we hear quite often is histioplasmosis. It's a fungal infection in the lungs. And it's known to be caused by a fungus that grows in bat guano. But we're talking about lots of bat guano, uh, knee high, you might find in caves. We're talking about bat guano that's been sitting for quite some time, that has mold growing on it. And the risk of actually getting uh, something like histioplasmosis from bat guano in this situation is very, very slim. And it's not something, you know, I don't suggest you go up to the bats and start smelling them or smelling their, their bat guano or droppings. But uh, it, it's not something to become overly panicked about and break out the hazmat suits over. The same situation with rabies. Uh, any mammal can get rabies, and you're more likely to have a problem with a dog. You also have problems with foxes and raccoons and other wildlife, and it's really about the risk of interacting with wildlife. If you leave the bats alone like you should, the risk should be very minimal. But all of that said, it's not a good idea to have bats roosting in your actual home. You do want to provide a place for them somewhere where they can go and be in the environment, have a suitable roost, and eat the bugs that are around, which will be of a great benefit to you to plant life and other animals as well. So if you have any questions, let us know, leave a comment, ask specific questions. I'll do my best to try and answer them. And we're going to continue our video series uh, as we help this homeowner figure out where to put a bat house and how to exclude these that are there.